So it's nice to have gone through our whole pregnancy together and then also to be able to continue following along with each other and all of our kids are the same age. I don't know what I would do without all these girls, honestly. I think I would have went crazy during my pregnancy. <laughs> And I just wanted to find some, you know, moms that were in the, um, Long Island and kind of were going through the same thing I was. It was great for everyone to come together and like figure out how are we supposed to go through this pregnancy while we're in a pandemic, which obviously none of us had anticipated. For the second half of our pregnancy, our husbands weren't allowed in our appointments with us. That was kind of the time where we all bonded a lot more. When we were scared, we were there and they were the only ones that knew what we were going through really. For being a first time mom, like you look forward to, you know, all like these milestones where you can have like a baby shower or, you know, you get to experience things with your family and your friends. And none of us were able to do that because we all had to be quarantined because we didn't want to risk it for our unborn children. So throughout, we were all going to our doctors, pretty much sharing with each other what each other's doctors were saying. They all gave different information, but pretty much no one really knew what was going on. I feel like there's still so little research about being pregnant and having COVID. It was so nerve wracking, like thinking that we still had to go to work. I actually got COVID, which was very scary. It was nice to have a group of people that I could talk to that can kind of calm me down through the whole thing. As scary as it was, I'm grateful that it wasn't as bad as it could have been and she came out perfect. Being pregnant, obviously first time mom, again, we don't know what we're doing <laughs> and then throw a pandemic in on it. Being in the medical field was definitely more terrifying than any of us can ever expect. I'm an emergency room nurse, so I was working through till April 1st. I took a leave of absence because there was just too many unknowns. I also worked on the front lines of ultrasound tech, so I worked till I was 35 weeks pregnant and having to really gown up. It was really, really hard. And it was probably one of the most upsetting times that any nurse could say they've ever been through and one of the most unexpected. But now that I'm back at work, it's just super important to stress the importance of wearing a mask outside. Lila went into, into labor first. It was like we all were going into labor. We were like, oh my God, it's happening. They were, they were literally the first ones I messaged when I was <laughs> in active labor. Every day we would wake up to see if somebody else went in labor. We were wondering who was gonna go next. They were like placing bets on you. <laughs> So now they're here. We're not worried about being pregnant with COVID, but we're worried about bringing COVID home to our baby. The first time that his grandparents met him, it was through a window. It's supposed to be the best time of your life, and then you feel a little bit upset that, you know, seeing your family, like, come visit at a distance or having to wear a mask around them. I can't have my mom or my mother-in-law come help me for a couple of hours just so I can take a shower or take a nap. It's very scary, but it goes by so fast. I feel like we're always like, oh, I wish I was pregnant again. I think that if someone could find a group like we did where someone's going through something similar, it's really, really helpful, especially when you're stuck at home, you don't feel like you're alone. These babies were like our light at the end of the tunnel because now like even though the world's still in the state that it is, like we have this joy that we're able to like wake up every morning. <laughs>